Hey witches! So today I'm going to show you a simple candle spell for peace of mind. Um, candle magic is like really one of my favorite ways to practice. I love candle magic. It is a great way to set your intention and have something working like in the background while you're doing other stuff. So um, like if you're doing other ritual work or in conjunction with another spell that you're doing. Um, and you can also keep this candle burning while you're meditating, while you're doing yoga, while you're doing another activity like drawing or making music or taking a ritual bath. So it's kind of like a low energy type of working. Um, so for today, you only need a few ingredients. Um, and these of course can be swapped out for any ingredients that you wanna use if you're not doing a specific candle spell for um, like self love or like peace of mind or whatever, but that's what we're gonna be doing today. Um, so again, very on trend, but if you wanna use other things, definitely do your research. And in terms of like color magic, I have a video on that. Um, and if you have any questions, you can always let me know and I'll go over things with you as best I can. So yeah. Um, so for, for this spell, you're going to need a pink candle and I used a taper because I like the, um, like, I don't know, I just like the way it looks and I didn't want to get a big votive or anything because those I find take a little bit longer to burn. Um, and I didn't want this burning for like hours and hours and hours. Um, so I got myself a taper. This was like 99 cents or something at like the dollar store. So um, just like a pink candle. Um, the color pink corresponds to like beauty and like love of all sorts like self-love romantic love family love um and also compassion so the next thing you're going to need is lavender and these are left over from the peace spell jar um that i made a couple weeks ago um so it's really great because you can just buy in bulk and like use them for different things and i use lavender a lot so definitely recommend getting that for your like collection of herbs um but lavender is really associated with like serenity and peace and love so definitely including that um you will need some himalayan rock salt which again from the peace jar um, so this is a really nice thing to have, especially if you're working on, on self-care or anything like that. If that is like a big thing, like central to your practice, definitely invest in something like this. Um, and then of course you can also get like the bigger, like crystals, crystallized like salts. Um, so it doesn't have to be exactly this one, just whatever you can find. So the next thing you're going to need is a piece of rose quartz. I feel like a makeup person doing this, but um, just a piece of rose quartz. And this rock, this rock, this crystal is associated with love and compassion. Um, and then also connecting with the universe or the divine, if you believe in deities. Um, and then the final thing you're going to need is a candle holder and a lighter um, just to like light the candle. And also um, there are a couple other steps. So. Um, the first thing you're going to do is, and I will show you this in a second, um, you're going to open up your lavender and like put some out like on a table and then with a stick lighter, because I'm afraid of burning my fingers off, uh, <laughs> um, heat up your candle so the wax gets kind of soft, like not melting, but soft, and then roll it in the lavender buds. So this is going to take me a second. I will show you the final product, um, but it is really easy. It's just heat and roll and then do that like like in sections as you get down the candle. You can also use a dressing oil. Um, I'm always afraid that like for whatever reason, like the candle is going to explode when I do that because I am anxious. Um, but you can also use like a anointing, anointing oil or anything like that. Um, and if you want me to do a video about that, I absolutely can, but definitely look up some recipes. If that is something that interests you, I'm just going to like soften the wax on the candle and embed the herbs. Direct. Okay guys, so this is the finished product. Um, I definitely wanted to leave patches of pink like shining through, but you can see the, ro the rosemary, the lavender is embedded into the candle. So now I'm just gonna put it um, in my candle holder and I'm gonna put it on my altar. Um, and with this one, I'm going to be working a lot with my gods on this. So I'm gonna go show you how I'm going to set up my altar and uh, we'll go from there, okay? Cool.
have my altar set up, I'm going to take my candle and I'm going to put it right here as a noggle of lavender bud drop. All right. So I'm just trying to make sure that's sitting up straight. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my, I'm going to take my rose quartz and I'm going to put it right here. And then I'm going to take my salt. And I'm going to put a ring of salt around the quartz and the candle. If you don't want to do just a circle, you can also do a heart for this one. I think that's kind of a beautiful thing, but I'm going to try to just do, kind of, it's kind of an oblong circle, but it's a circle nonetheless. Just like that. Make sure you don't have any gaps. Just like that. All right, and you, my friend, are in business. So I'm going to show you what this looks like all, um, is I get salt just everywhere. I'm a very messy witch, I'm sorry. So I'm gonna show you what this looks like all lit up and how I let it burn down. In just a little bit, I usually tend to practice when the sun goes down. I don't know why, it's just like a thing for me. Um, so <laughs> hopefully my head's not getting cut off in this, I have no idea. Um, I will show you this as well as other things on my altar that I wanted to talk to you guys about um, later in the week so you get kind of a sneak peek as to what we're doing, which is super cool. Um, but yeah, if you have any questions, leave them down below. Otherwise, I will see you guys tomorrow.